The best-selling product in our store is the Ultra Cortex Mark IV EEG headset. The Ultra Cortex is an open source 3D printed headset intended to work with the OpenBCI system. It is capable of reading brain activity EEG and muscle activity EMG. The Mark IV frame uses dry electrodes that allows you to affix it to your scalp without using paste. If you're looking to avoid using paste, this is the way to go. If installed correctly, it only takes 10 seconds to put it on and start reading data. The Mark IV can be purchased from the OpenBCI store in three different configurations. Print it yourself, unassembled, and pro-assembled. Because the Mark IV frame can be 3D printed, you can buy it in a print it yourself version, which includes the electrodes, the wires, and any other non-3D printed part. If you don't own a 3D printer, you can purchase a unassembled kit, which includes all of the non-3D printed parts and the 3D printed parts. If you don't want to bother with 3D printing parts or assembling the headset, you can buy a pro-assembled version in an 8-channel or a 16-channel. These are assembled by our expert builders at Tangible Creative. They do not include the biosensing board. The aim of this video is to provide you with instruction of how to assemble your headset and how to get data from it once it is assembled. First, let's see what non-3D printed parts are in the box. Depending on whether you got an 8-channel or a 16-channel, you will get spiky units, flat units, comfort units, three lengths of ribbon cable, ear clips, and screws. The 3D printed parts that you should print or that are included in your box are one frame, 35 inserts, 30 wire clips, one board mount, and one board cover. As for materials that are not included in your kit, you will need super glue, sandpaper or a cleaning tool, and an open BCI board. The first thing you need to do is clean off your headset. With sandpaper or a cleaning tool, clean off the inside of the node so that the insert sits flush. If you buy the headset from us, you will not have to do this. The next step is to carefully glue your frame together, the front and the back, or in quarters, depending on how you printed it. The best way to do that is to apply glue to each piece of the node, and on a flat surface, push your frame together and hold it in place. It's important that these line up, uh, otherwise you will not be able to fit the insert. The next step is to glue in your inserts. To do that, you use super glue and apply it to the inside edge of the frame, then place your insert in, making sure that it is flush, and then you repeat that for each one of the other nodes. You will need a screwdriver. The important thing to know is to wait for your super glue to dry entirely before starting this step. Then we need to identify what is the front and back of the headset. You'll notice that there are more mounting holes on the front versus the back. These two center mounting holes is where you mount your board. This octagon facing down, using the center holes on the board mount, you can screw your board right onto your frame. The next step, you will need to put your comfort nodes in place. The first three go across the top. The last two go in the front, here, and here. The Mark IV node locations are based on the 1020 system, which is an internationally accepted standard for electrode placement in the context of EEG. We will now place the electrodes in the default 1020 locations shown in the OpenBCI GUI. As a user, you're able to place electrodes wherever you'd like. Next, we will show the node configuration and the wiring for the 8 channel and we'll show the 16 channel later on. Next, we will take the two flat electrodes and put them in FP1 and FP2, two of the spiky electrodes in the top of the frame, in C3 and C4. Then we will go to the back of the frame and put the next two in P7 and P8, and then the last two in O1, and O2. Next, I'm going to show how to wire the 8-channel headset. For the 8-channel, you will not need the short wires. You can put them off to the side. We will need those for the 16-channel. First, you can start with the long cables. Peel off the gray, white, and purple wires, and separate each one. Put aside the white. We won't need that. For the gray, we want to put that into FP2, and for the purple, FP1. 
Then we'll take the medium wires, remove again the purple, gray, and white. We won't need those. Then strip off the blue and green and separate them. The blue will go into C3. The green will go into C4. Then again, the medium wires will need the orange and the yellow. Orange will go into P7. The yellow will go into P8. Then we need the red and the brown. Brown will go into O1 and the red will go into O2. From here, we need to use the wire clips to run the cables back to the board. Now we're gonna take the eight channel headset and turn it into a 16 channel headset. To do that, we need to remove the two comfort nodes in F7 and F8, and go ahead and put those aside. Then we're gonna take two spiky units and replace those. This one in F7 and this one in F8. Now we're gonna take the remaining six spiky units and put them in their corresponding locations. We can take the first two. They go in the front of the frame here, F3 and F4. The next two go in the side of the frame here in T7 and T8. Then we're gonna turn our frame around and take the last two and they go in P3 and T4. Now we're gonna need some of the wires that we put aside when we were doing the eight channel. So to start, we're gonna take the middle size, gray and purple, and put aside the, the white one. These two we can go ahead and strip, and then put down for right now. Now we need to go and grab the short wires and remove the gray, purple, and white. Discard the white and strip those aside. These need to get plugged into the ends of the two wires that we just had. So the purple into the purple and the gray into the gray. We do this because we need to be able to reach all the way to the front of the frame. Then we can go ahead and put the gray into F8 and the purple into F7. Now we're gonna take the long cables and strip off the blue and the green. Strip those aside and the green into F3. Now I'm gonna take the blue and put it into F4. Then we can strip off the yellow and the orange, the orange in T8. And put the yellow in P3. Then we take the short wires, turn our frame around, strip off the brown, red, and black, disregard the black, and put the brown in P4 and the red in P3. Now I'm going to show how to connect the Ganglion board to an eight channel headset. To start with, we need to plug the battery, which is sold separately, into the board on the back. Then we can wrap the wire up on the back of the board and slide the board onto the board mount. Now we can take the purple and gray wires from FP1 and FP2 and plug them into pin one and pin two on the top row of the board. Then we can take 
the red and the brown, which are coming, coming from O1 and O2, and plug those into pin three and pin four, also on the top row. Then we can take our ear clips and plug them into the DG and the reference pins also in the top row. And then we can take the board cover and slide it on to hold the board on. Now I'm going to show you how to use the Ultra Cortex Mark IV 8 channel with the Cyton board. Now we're going to take the headset and get it in the right place on our head. Go ahead and put it on. First thing you want to do is make sure the center node is lined up with your nose. And then you want to adjust each node, including the comfort nodes, until you feel them touching your scalp. And then you want to connect your ear clips to the earlobes. All right, now that we have your ultra cortex assembled and positioned on your head, it's brainwave time. Once you have the OpenBCI GUI installed, you can follow the tutorials on our website. You wanna go ahead and plug in your dongle. Make sure the switch is closer to the computer. Turn on our headset. There's a switch on the right side of the board. Then launch the GUI. Select live from site time, and then serial from dongle. Select the right serial port. And then we hit start data stream. And now we can see our brain waves. This concludes the tutorial for the Mark IV. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us.